what is going on guys clickwood here back again bringing you guys another madden 16 ultimate team video guys it is the return of the budget series i know guys i've been saying it for like a couple of weeks now that i wanted to put out more budget series videos I have been so damn busy with all the holiday promos that they were putting out. Uh, I mean, pretty much from the time that the Thanksgiving promo finished until, like, now. I have just been cranking out as many videos as I can for uh, various different, you know, holiday gifts and all that kind of stuff. But I do want to make a return to this series. So hopefully you guys are understanding that, you know, sometimes we kind of have to prioritize other types of videos, especially when there's really good content in the game. So, uh, yeah, anyway, we do, like I said, want to return to the budget series so this is the first video returning with the budget series um, now guys if you want to see more of these videos please do me a favor let me know in the comments section below what position that you want to see next on this series also guys if you can do me a favor and just drop a like on this video it would greatly help me out so so much you guys have no idea so with that being said guys let's hop right into it because I want to get things started with uh, something that I like to do with my tight ends and that is of course catch passes okay <laughs> uh, I think a lot of people, this is the thing that you really do with your tight end in Madden. I mean, of course, we can do blocking. We can do other stuff with our tight ends. But for the most part, most people are mostly concerned about their receiving ability. So what we're going to do here, guys, if you're new to the series, the left side of your screen is what we're going to consider the budget player. The right side of the screen is a player who kind of does similar types of things. They're, they're fairly comparable in a lot of ways. But the player on the right is obviously probably a better overall card. It's also going to be quite a bit more expensive so on the left guys we've got Jordan Cameron of the Miami Dolphins 84 overall tight end he didn't have a great year this year so I expect that his card will drop for Madden 17 uh, I don't think he's gonna have an 84 overall to start the year but you never know uh, but Rob Gronkowski on the right side of the screen 165,000 coins he's still one of the absolute best tight ends in this game right now um, he is a lot more balanced I would say than Jordan Cameron but again he's still really mostly focused on receiving so anyway, what I want to do is kind of explain real quickly what we what we do typically do here on the budget series videos. Uh, if you see something that has a red background, one of the attributes with a red background, that means it's lower than the other card. If you see one that's green, that means it's higher than the other card. And if you see yellow, that means they're the exact same in that attribute. Now, again, guys, with these cards, we're focused mostly on receiving. So there are some things, obviously, that uh, go into that. First of all, the height in this game is extremely important for pretty much any position uh, but especially when you're trying to go up and catch the ball so Jordan Cameron being six foot five is still plenty big enough he is one inch shorter than than Gronkowski but you know it, it's not that big of a deal he does also have a little bit higher jumping or actually quite a bit higher jumping he's in 93 for jumping whereas Gronk's only in 84 so you can actually easily make the case that Jordan Cameron is actually the better player to go up and make catches where you have to jump so that's kind of interesting however he is lower in in a lot of attributes as well. Uh, his catch in traffic is only an 83. That is not particularly good. Uh, it's not terrible for a card of you know this overall. It's only an 84. So and especially for the price, 1500 coins, that's pretty darn good. But it doesn't really compare to Gronkowski. <laughs> you know, obviously Gronk being 165,000 coins, we would expect him to be quite a bit better. But you know, I I don't know. That's that's just it's just an attribute where Cameron's just not going to compete with Gronk. He really isn't. Gronk is going to be able to go over the middle and make catches in traffic while he gets hit and uh, you know Cameron's just not made to do that but he does have some really good attributes still spectacular catch he is a 93 now that's actually the same as Gronkowski so he can make some of those one-handed catches and some things on like the aggressive catches when he goes up and jumps for the ball like we talked about before he can definitely do that he does also have a solid pure catching attribute at an 89 that is still really really good it's not again quite as good as the Gronkowski but a couple of things that I really like about this uh, Jordan Cameron card. He has 87 speed with 92 acceleration. That is a lot faster than Gronkowski. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Speed isn't everything. I understand that. I'm not trying to say that it is. I'm not saying I'd rather have Jordan Cameron than Rob Gronkowski, but what I am saying is that there are situations where Jordan Cameron is actually going to be better, and he can create separation that Gronkowski sometimes can't. They actually have the same route running at an 84, so if they are running the same exact route, like say a 10-yard out route or something like that against man coverage, Jordan Cameron is actually a lot of times going to get better separation than Gronkowski, so that's something definitely to consider, and it's certainly something that you 
you can exploit when you're going out and uh, making catches with your tight end. So I definitely, definitely like this Jordan Cameron card. It's like I said, 1,500 coins. It's extremely cheap. I mean, it's a card that you could literally do almost any solo and get this card for. <laughs> so uh, it's it's very, very easy to get and uh, definitely go in there and try it out if you're somebody that's trying to get a cheap team and you're trying to build it up through a budget squad. Uh, if you're just new to Madden or something like that, go out there and get this Jordan Cameron card and you can even use him in conjunction with other players that we're going to show in this video uh, because he is so cheap. Now, there are areas where Jordan Cameron is not good and that is really his, his run blocking is just not good at all. 62 for a run block, 55 for a pass block. We don't really use our tight ends to pass block all that often, but when we do, I mean, it is something that we do have to consider. His strength is also awful. 70 for strength. Like, that is pathetic. For a, a tight end to only have 70 strength, that is really, really not very good. So you're not typically going to want to run to Jordan Cameron's side uh, unless it's like some sort of misdirection type of play where you're not really focusing on him get, picking up a big block. Um, yeah, that it's just Jordan Cameron's just not going to do a great job of run blocking. So, uh, yeah, that's really the place where he is not very good. His impact block is okay, but, you know, for a tight end, we don't really expect them to get many impact blocks. Blocks. So uh, let's do let's move on now and let's talk a little bit about players who are particularly good at blocking uh, because there are situations where of course we do need our tight end to go out and actually make blocks especially on the running plays. So uh, let's hop into it. Next position is going to be the blocking focused tight ends. And on the left side of your screen, we've got Vance McDonald. He is a tight end for the San Francisco 49ers. 83 overall. This is a BCA card, but it is still widely available on the auction block. So it's really not something you have to worry about. He's going for about 3,000 coins right now. And on the right side of your screen, we're going to compare him to seasoned veteran Mercedes Lewis. Now, again, guys, I'm not going to try and say that the card on the left is better than the card on the right. But there are a lot of attributes where I think Vance McDonald is going to do about as good of a job as uh, as Mercedes Lewis. couple of things here. His strength is 91. That is very, very high for a tight end. It's one of the best attributes in the, at the position uh, that has been released into this game so far. His run blocking also, an 84, very, very good. Again, one of the best attributes that has been released into this game. He is actually the same in run blocking as Mercedes Lewis, but he's three higher in strength. Those are the two most important attributes when you're talking about run blocking. So he is a, a better pure run blocker than Mercedes Lewis. Now, where he isn't quite as good is in that impact block attribute like we had talked about before. Uh, he is not very good at going out there and getting like the the pancake blocks, I guess, but he is going to go out there and he is going to be able to typically hold a linebacker or a defensive end uh, and, you know, give you that extra five yards that you might need uh, to pick up a first down in tough situations or even to break and spring you on a long run. Vance McDonald is very, very good at those things. Now, where he is not very good, unfortunately, is that he is not a great receiving tight end. He's not horrible in most things. I mean, like his spectacular catch is solid at an 84 and his jumping is solid at an 85 and he does actually have some decent speed. He's 83 speed with 93 acceleration. That's actually his speed and excel are actually higher than Mercedes Lewis and his jumping is the same. But unfortunately, he's only got a 76 for catching and a 70 for catching traffic. He is not going to do a great job if there's good coverage on him. You pretty much have to throw to him when he's wide open. Otherwise, he's not going to make the catch. Now, of course, there are a lot of routes where you're going to get wide open, and, and he is still going to be able to make those catches typically. But he just he's not great. He's not somebody that you want to rely on on third and 10 to go over the middle and make a, a great catch. That's something where uh, you'd probably want to have a, a better receiving tight end. So I, again, I think that you want Vance McDonald in conjunction with a guy like a Jordan Cameron. Uh, so obviously when you're in a more running situation, you can rely on Vance McDonald a little bit more. And when you're in more passing situations, you can rely on your Jordan Cameron. Or if you don't want to just do that, another option is the third set of cards that we have here, guys. And these are what I refer to as my balance tight ends. So these are guys that are a little bit of kind of A, column A, and a little bit of column B. They're, they're good receiving tight ends, and they're also good blockers. So on the left side of your screen, you've got the gold Travis Kelsey going for about 2,000 coins. Very, very cheap. And we're going to be comparing him to Heath Miller on the right, who's going for about 52,000 coins. So a 50,000 coin difference here, guys. Uh, a lot of difference in terms of price, but quite frankly, not a huge difference in a lot of these attributes. Now, 
one thing that I do want to point out here is that Heath Miller has some extremely boosted attributes across the middle there. His catching at a 96 and his catching traffic at a 97 are going to be some of the best attributes that we see all year at the tight end position. But you're paying for those things. It is 52,000 coins to get a tight end that only has 82 speed. That's 86 acceleration, which isn't great. Um, and, and quite frankly, he isn't as good of a run blocker as Travis Kelsey. So... You know, all of those types of things do come into play, but I, I think that the nice thing about both of these cards is that they're solid at just about everything. Like, you look at Travis Kelsey, he's got 89 catch in traffic and an 84 catching with 84 speed and 86 acceleration. He's also six foot six and he has 90 jumping. So he is a really, really solid receiving tight end. He isn't quite quite as good of a pure pass catcher as Jordan Cameron is, but when you consider the fact that he also has great run blocking attributes, I really think that if you're going to go out and you're going to look for a tight end, this is probably the direction that I would go on the budget side. I would go out here and I would get a Travis Kelsey because he is, like I said, really solid at everything. The only thing that I really don't like about this Travis Kelsey is that his 74 route running isn't great, but he does a little bit make up for it with the fact that he is a little bit faster than most of the other tight ends, or, or at least, you know, a, a lot of the tight ends that are in his price range. So, uh, you know, like I said, his, his pure catching attributes are also really, really solid. So you're going to be able to go out there and you're going to be able to make catches over the middle uh, and you're going to get okay separation. He's not going to get as good of a, a separation as, you know, some of the other guys like the, the Jordan Cameron, who's a little bit better of a route runner. So, you know, that's just something to consider guys. But again, for 50,000 coin difference, I think it's worth it to at least try out Travis Kelsey. And then obviously if you go forward and, you know, you start accumulating more coins, that's when you can go ahead and you can spend some more on some of these more expensive tight ends like a Heath Miller, like a Rob Gronkowski and so on and so forth. So uh, with that being said, guys, that is the tight end budget video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, quickly do me a favor. Like I said before, drop a like on the video if you can. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you are new. Thank you guys so much for all the support. And again, let me know in the comments section below what position do you want to see next. Thanks, guys, and I'll talk to you again soon. Hey guys, if you're enjoying my videos, do me a favor, click that subscribe button on the right side of your screen right now. Otherwise, you can always check out my previous video by clicking on the left side of the screen. Thank you guys again.